Hello there and welcome to some Crusader Kings free. Today we'll be starting a campaign as Prince Ashot of the Armenian Principalities. And the goal of this campaign is to create a strong Armenian state. We're starting in the 867 stars under the control of the... Uh, who's our liege again? Our liege is uh, Caliph Al-Mutaz ibn Al-Mutawakil of the Abbasid Caliphate. We're going to be playing in Iron Man mode and let's get straight to it. Now what we want to do straight away is we want to go to this faction over here and we want to join the independence faction. We want to make that very, very strong and it should be relatively easily. We, uh, we're here. We have all this land. We're not terribly powerful, but we can become quite powerful quite fast. We have a son here. Let's try and get him a marriage alliance, perhaps even with you, because you have a daughter. Let's go ahead and choose my son. And let's choose his daughter. We will get an alliance out of it. Very good. And we do have a daughter as well. We don't terribly need a uh, an alliance too uh, too fast. Let's see what power we could get though. Bulgaria, I think they might be about to lose all of their power in this start. Nothing just yet. So we'll uh, we'll leave it for now. And I'm sure somebody will come of uh, note a bit later on. So let's go ahead and try and gain some power. There is uh, this county over here? He will accept vassalage. There is also no. There's not you. What about this man over here? If we were to demand your conversion. We should be able to get you as well. There's this man, we'll vassalize him. I think that is it. We also have family members over here, but we can't quite get them vassalized. We are quite good at diplomacy and stewardship. A great um, player to start off as we have August Administrator and Diplomat Rates, as well as the uh, Grey Eminence. We are, however, cynical, generous, and diligent, and part of the Bagrationi family. The family famous for ruling Georgia for quite a very long time. We have all start off as the Armenian branch. We are Armenian culture and apostolic, apostolic, apostolic uh, faith, which is a uh, organised Christian faith. We believe in communion, communal identity, and anti-communism. Excellent. Uh, our head of faith is this man here. He doesn't have any actual power. We might try to help him get power sometime. I'm not sure if that will be. Possible. Decisions is nothing I really care for at the moment, but we do have our hetere. One of them is my son, I believe. We want to forbid him for now. He's a bit too um, He's too important, so we're not going to throw him away just yet. Not very many good people. We could recruit this guy for 10 gold. I don't want to do this. I want my money so I can try and get some uh, man at arms very, very fast. Let's go ahead and choose our focus. Now it is going to be diplomacy. And we are going to go with getting extra diplomacy. I would like to go with the uh, force vassalage down this way. So if we could get that, it would be great. The ability to vassalize all uh, lower tier titles around here and any others that join us in the Independence Faction will be great. So let's uh, let's see how strong we can get off of these other characters joining us here. Real quick. And then we'll uh, go about starting a bit of war. Excellent. You have decided to join me. Good man. The uh, Sunic. Us Armenians must work together. And so must us, uh, the Georgians as well. Uh, he will become my vassal and will be very, very happy with that. Also, we have gained an alliance with Basilius Basilios of the Byzantine Empire. The House of Macedon is our ally. Excellent. And excellent again, we have gained another vassal. So we've gained a fair bit of power in the region. Let's go ahead and get some Manasom regiments. We could go for Light Footman and Bowman, but I think Onagers might be the way to go here. Speed up our sieging a fair bit. Excellent, we've also uh, got this man on our side. Perfect. We will uh, get 60 gold once the next uh, income tick goes. And then we're going to hire up some Onagers, because I would like to get through sieges a bit faster. Excellent. We'll hire these guys. We already start off with 5 out of 10 at hopefully going to be enough because I don't want to wait around here. I want to go to war with this man. The uh, Kai site, Sheikh Abdul Wad of Turabaran. He has no allies, which is great. He's not very strong. So we're going to go ahead and press this guy's claim. He does have a claim for either, but I want this one because I think it's uh, better for border gore. Although we could check and see what's more powerful. Uh, this pro oh, it's going to be skewed anyway because he does have his uh, capital there. Okay, well, let's just get straight to it. You there, we are going to de declare war on you for this man's claims. Perfect, it's going to cost me a bit of prestige, but we do have the prestige to deal with it. We're going to move our rally point over here, and we're going to raise up all of our troops there. Five onages and seven knights, not bad. I'm probably going to call them knights uh, the whole campaign because that's just 
the word that comes to mind for me. We can also call in our family members if we did so wish, or our allies, but we're not going to be doing that just yet. There's uh, no real need for it. I can get a guardian for my daughter. She is... Uh, what, what are you, your traits here? Mostly diplomacy, but uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, give her a focus in finance. That seems to be her second best. Or we could just go with learning. Where is learning? It's right there. We're going to change our focus to learning. We are going to find her a good tutor, which is going to be me. Perfect. As my son, he is already of age, so we don't need to worry about him anymore. He's good at diplomacy. The succession law here is confederate partition, so I am going to try and keep it to only the one son. Excellent. Lots and lots of titles here. The Armenian Principalities, the Kingdom of Armenia, not created, but supposedly he will inherit it? Not too sure what that's all about. Anyway, let's uh, let's get to work here. The army will take five days to rise up, and then we are going to go and besiege this man. His capital, he has not left his capital, so we're actually going to go straight for that and see if we can catch him there in his sleep. Uh, no, his army is going to get away. Is he part of his army? Well, we won't know for sure. He's uh, not wearing any armor, so I'm not entirely sure. That, oh, I've accidentally left on uh, Discord. Let me just quickly take a second to quit that. Perfect. Discord is gone. No more invasions of uh, the message notification. I don't even know if my recording software picks it up. I hope not. But if it does, uh, my bad. Is he still here? He is still here. Excellent. So we're just going to siege out his capital, hopefully. Six months. The faction here can send an ultimatum in 30 months. The power is only at 82%. It should be a lot higher. It should be, but only these many people here at the moment are joining us. We do, of course, have our allies. We have very strong allies in the Byzantine Empire. We could get more. You only have 4,200 men. We could really, really... Uh, Screw you, but I want this to be more organic so we have a lot more nations joining that we could uh, usurp later on and uh, force vassalize or just straight up conquer. Excellent, well done. As my court, my council, we have you assisting the ruler. A managed domain isn't going to be terribly useful at the moment. You are very good at patronage for learning. Um, let's just have you assist ruler generally there. If I read a claim, convert faith. Do we have anywhere we could convert? These places here are orthodox. We could try and send them over there. That will take 11 years. Not bad, but sure, we may as well be doing something. You're collecting tax. That's great. I would like you to do it. You there are foreign affairs. Let's get back to domestic affairs. You there are organizing levies. Very good. And you are <laughs> completely useless. I just assign somebody who can actually do a job there. Perfect. And we'll have you disrupt schemes. We just cancel. Yeah, we don't care for them. Let's just uh, concentrate on ourselves, and ourselves is sieging out this man. Hopefully, we will capture him, but I'm not entirely sure. I mean, the goal of this campaign is to create a very strong Armenian state. I'm sure we'll see uh, ourselves go into the Caucasus and go more into the Middle East. We might try and reclaim the historical Armenian uh, lands of old, which is currently disoccupied by Greeks. I'm sure the Greeks would rather it was invaded by Armenians than Turks. I'm sure the Armenians would prefer that as well. You guys aren't having a terribly uh, fun time at the moment uh, with the Turks, are you? But I'm just a YouTuber. I don't know about foreign politics or policy or whatever, so I'm not going to um, mention much there. We could uh, we could go over and fight these guys. I do know that Armenia has had a lot of issues in the past. There's a lot of Armenian nephew, uh, refugees that have ended up in the US and they've become MMA fighters. So, so that's really all I know about Armenia. Lots of very good MMA fighters coming out of Armenia. You guys uh, got some tough fellows over there, but only the strongest survive when you are genocided on a regular basis throughout history. I know a bit about that. My family is mostly Irish, so <laughs> I've got I've got uh, I've got that bit down. I know what it's like to come from people who have been uh, starved out a few times. My family is a mix of Irish, Scottish, Welsh, and I do have a bit of Slovene in me, which is uh, again uh, refugees during World War Two that fled after the. Uh, the destruction down in that that way with Austria and all, all that nonsense. Most of my family though is Irish from County Donegal outside of Raffo. Here we go. We have a victory. 100 men lost, 143 killed. Let's have a look at our character and see who did what. Ah, Sheikh Sumbat of Iran did a very good job. Excellent. Well done, sir. You do have a son. Aran Shahik. You have a fine family. Obscure? Why well, are we obscure? Get out of there. We only have uh, so many houses. I don't think we can create a cadet branch because we are the head of the family, aren't we? 
yeah, we uh, we can't do anything with that. I doubt we're going to become a uh, a separate. Oh, was I looking at his family? I was looking at his family. Yes, but still, we can't create a uh, an extra branch. We are reputable, and that makes much more sense. Many, many members, including several lords. Good for them. Good for them indeed. We do have 100%, though, so let's go ahead and enforce our demands. Cutting this guy's land in two. Spander army. Oh, we did actually take somebody prisoner. We can still ransom. Good. 27 out of 30. I'll wait a little bit on that. Do we have many others? Oh, wow, we do. So you are that guy. You can get 25 gold for straight away, and you we can get 10 for. Not long after. Excellent. Let's get all of this gold, because we could use the extra troops. Caliph al Mutsas has declared war on Sultan Ahmad. He is going for Egypt. That's uh, not good. We don't want him to become even stronger now, do we? I'm going to take this money now, because I do want to get to work. We're going to go ahead and create another Man at Arms Regiment. And it is going to be... Uh, Light Footman, I... I like light footmen because they have a suit. So if you do win the battle, you'll pursue them and kill off a lot more. And they also have screen. Whereas you guys, you, you're you more powerful in the actual battle itself. What are Armenians known for? You don't have special uh, event troops here. I don't know what Armenians are known for historically. We could save up a little bit longer and get some armoured footmen. But then Bowman is just so close on the uh, strength anyway. It's not that much difference. Uh, there is in defense, but the assault is really quite close. We're going to go ahead and get some bowmen. 100 of them will be a great, great uh, power advance. I can change Prince Ashot's contracts. That's me. So I can pay less? No, uh, there's a different Ashot, of course. Of course, there's many, many different Ashots. Uh, I could get a bit more tax out of him, or I could get a few more levy. Let's get a few more levy. That's what I really do need here. Perfect. Abbas can marry. Abbas is my brother. Let's see what we could do with alliance power. We could get uh, Gujar Rai. Gujar, you are Indians. Yeah, Rajput. You're a bit far away. I don't think you're going to be too useful. Anybody who looks relatively Greek, because you are quite close. Duchy of Epirus, but if we already have your overlord in the war, I don't think we'd be able to get you as well. Who are you? Oh, again, Greek. Shaka. Well, let, let's pick somebody, uh... Let's try and pick somebody by hand. You do have you up here. Do we have any chance? No. Okay, well, I'm not in a rush. Let's have a go to our court and find people who are unmarried. Adults. Adults. Um, yeah, we already know they're going to be adults. Gender, women, and martial status, unmarried. So we have this one lady here. We can use her to get a matrilineal marriage to get somebody of good prowess in, and he will be a slayer on a battlefield. Oh, there's an albino man here, Jagadeva. He's an albino Indian with a grand moustache. Let's see the stats here. Oh. Well, this man is just so much better, so I'm going to have to go with him. 24 prowess is, uh, yeah. Definitely trumps you, other gentlemen, on your, uh, your albino right there. My wife is pregnant. Oh, how? She's 43. Okay. Well, we have another man here to fight for us. Let's have a look at our other quarters, though. Um, the the men. Let's see if we can get anyone over. So, it's my son. We have two quarters, or one quarter, really, and then our brother. Bold lackey. Let's just find him a uh, decent match. Well, she is albino. I, I can always be a sucker for albino. I don't think there's any real stats I need out of her, just uh, inheritable traits. Let's go ahead and have a look. So we got uh, traits inheritable. Robust, robust, and quick. Nubian, Nubian, Ethiopian. Okay. They're of different religions as well. Uh, so we're not going to worry just yet. We don't get any uh, characters out of him, so he's not worth worrying about. We do have and nearly have enough ma money for another few bowmen. Let's go through to the next money tick. Perfect, and upgrade that to level 2. How's my faction do going? Get your leaders now, only two members! Oh my goodness. Uh, who is joining me? This man over here. He is a Uguz. Uh, an Asian gentleman. Okay, Arbor Sid, well, I don't want you to join uh, up with this. You are at war of 3,000 people. You only have 4,000 yourself. I have 1,600, and we do have the Byzantines here. Would we be able to get you on side? 
You're not married. Can we get a marriage? No. What about you? No. See, somebody like here would be... Oh, he's only got 300 men anyway. Let's go to my daughter. Let's see what we can get through her. Alliance power. Ash Picardi. Oh, it is this man now. And he's got an extra fair few uh, troops there. His uh, relative is 61. We could always break it. I'm not opposed to breaking these things. Let's take it. Sure. Matrilineal? They would actually take Matrilineal. So we might be able to get him to come over here in the future and fight with us. But let's just get this lines for now. Excellent. That's another ally. And I do have a brother. Can we get another decent ally with you? Only potential one is Temes. And, oh, you're all the way over here. You are relatively strong, though. Oh, wait. Hang on a second. Inheritable traits. Let's, let's go to all. And now, sword by alliance power. Good gym. You're just too far away, I'm afraid. You guys are already uh, underneath somebody we would be able to call in. Showa. Uh, this isn't looking good. Temes. Yeah, you might be the best chance there. Temes, an extra 700 odd people if we did so require them. I don't think we do. So we're just going to leave it there for now. Okay, do I want to go for more people around here though? Let's zoom out and see who we are with. This guy, 1800. A bit stronger than me and I can't declare war on him. And what's around here? Do we border you there? Could declare war on him for somebody else's claims. He would not bring... He does have an ally. 600 plus that's 1400 in total there's a potential extra province I I wanted more people to come out independence with this so I might not rush the independence war so I go to war with you you are allied to this guy ah no he is independent I could always call in one of my friends could also try and kill you off if we were to try it is potential okay so we're gonna try and kill this guy we're going to try and kill this guy to get uh, rid of him. And while we do that, we're going to go to all of this guy here for an extra bit of land. Could go for either. I'm going to go for the one that borders us. Perfect. And then hopefully his friend who does join in won't be that much of a threat. So I'm going to move my rally point to here. If I do need more friends, I can call them in, but I don't think I will. We could always get more bowmen as well. But I'm in quite a rush. Let's move you actually over to here, because this is where they're going to raise their force. Nine days. Four days. Two days. Excellent. Are they locked in here? No, good. So we'll be able to fight them when we outnumber them uh, two to one here. Excellent. This should be an absolute slaughter. We have seven heroes to their six, but their levies are already destroyed. What a grand battle. We killed 257, losing only 122. We gained some uh, piety and prestige. Excellent. War score, of course, is also gained. Sir Leader, what are you doing? He is uh, with his army. What I want to do is I want to try and fight these guys off first. So their numbers can't get together and start to uh, screw us about. So we're going to go over and fight these chaps. Heroes, Daniel is the hero of the battlefield. I'm sure he will do a grand job. We could always hire this fellow Armenian man, but I am not in terribly much of a rush. We've only got 32 bowmen. This is uh, not great. But they will do their job. Oh no, Daniel was uh, injured by Murad. I'm sure Daniel will be fine. If not, we can just replace him with the albino Indian man. Excellent. We have captured their lord. Oh, the, not the Lord, but their commander. He'll surely be worth a bit. Ah, I did lose one bowman, but we uh, got ten kills out of him. That's hundred ducats I spent. Got me all that. Yes, Daniel killed 25. Well done, Daniel. I'm glad to have you on board. Very glad. So now the army should not really be uh, a threat to us. I, whew, let's see if I'm trying to get the, all of his money there. Let's now go and siege the war goal. Shouldn't take too long. We do have ten onagers now. My immortal body? Prince or peasant, high or low, it does not matter. In the end, we are all mortals. I was reminded of this as I woke coughing in the early morning hours, a dull ache pounding through my head and throat. I don't really have the money for that. Uh, do I mind dying? I do, because I'm quite a good character here. 
My son isn't great. He would have a keep that alliance. Um, uh, let's send for a physician. So who we got? We have got uh, Arda, who is renowned. Or we have got Han String, who is not so much. Okay, we would get the money back from uh, capture, so we're actually going to pay for this. And I hope that it goes well. Uh, do no more than what is necessary. No, I, I don't think this is too bad. A little brighter, Arda bought me a concoction made from buckthorn and senna. At first I thought the potion ineffectual, but later the same day I felt it churning in my bowels which sent me running for the privy. As I howled in anguish, Arda assured me that the foulness was expelled with my feces. In the end, the cleansing turned out to be just what I needed. For now, the worst of my symptoms are alleviated, and the world seems a little brighter. Excellent. Well, thank you, Arda. We could do... She, she's in my court, yes? I could find her a spouse, but only in my own court. Well, let's get off that screen. Let's go to here. Let's go to my court. Who are you? That's not Arda. She is my guest, though. We could ask her to stay and then uh, pay her. Where, where is... Uh, where is she? Her name is Arda. Here she is. Excellent. We can now find her match. We're going to go matrilineal. And we're going to sort by prowess and get Jacob with 14. This man with 14. You with 12. Well, this man is a little bit younger, so I think him. Even though they are both foreign and they are both uh, different religions. This man is a bit younger. And he's wise, so we're going to go with him. Bring him over. Kamal, you will fight for us. Not in this particular war. Can we? Yes, we can demand this conversion. Perfect. Excellent, that's exactly what we want. Murder! Itching for a distraction. The man in charge of cleaning the clothes of Sheikh Abul Wad's guard is brought to me. No one will notice him tampering with their clothes and if something distracting for the guards could be planted. I'm not going to be spending the money or the prestige. My god. Oh no, he loses the prestige cable. So we're going to cost him a bit of prestige there. The siege is five months away. What I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode here. And when we come back, we are going to finish off this war and take this extra province. These two together only have uh, 954 men. So they're not going to be a threat to our 1500 forces here. We, of course, do get more bowmen as we wait as well. Uh, we do need to get our money back before we get all of our bowmen back. We do have potential ransoms about. Uh, you are unfortunately not one of them. So it should be good. We'll uh, win here, win all that. Hopefully this man continues to struggle against Egypt. He's not really struggling, but uh, ah, that's not looking good, is it? And we'll be able to get uh, more people here. And uh, hopefully have good friends to come to our aid. No, I just want to keep tidying up. We'll be able to get this guy's land once he dies. And we'll have a nice, strong Armenian state. Thank you for watching. I hope you are going to enjoy this content. If you are, you should subscribe. Subscribing is great. You get to keep up to date on all of my content. I will. Uh, I'll be pumping out videos this um, this uh, series every day, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you again for watching. Leave a comment down below if you want to uh, show your appreciation. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you again. Goodbye.